Hi everyone, welcome back. Today sharing one of the best and a very popular Middle Eastern appetizer that's falafel along with hummus recipe. Hope you like it. Keep watching. So let's begin. For making falafel, I have taken 250 grams of chickpeas and then add sufficient water to it and soak it for 7 to 8 hours or overnight. Once it soaks, it increases in sizes. So make sure you add at least 2 to 3 times of water for soaking. It's soaked well now, as you can see. I'm gonna drain off the water now and then move ahead with the next step. So these are the ingredients we require. These are the soaked chickpeas. Then we would require half a cup of coriander leaves or dhaniya patta half a cup of parsley leaves, two finely chopped green chilies or hari mirch, then seven to eight garlic cloves or lesson, one finely chopped onion, that's piaz, one four teaspoon of black pepper or kali mirch powder, one teaspoon of cumin seeds or zira powder, powder half a teaspoon of baking soda and salt as per taste. Now we're gonna grind all this into a coarse paste. Add in all the ingredients and then grind it into a coarse paste. Here I am going to grind it into two batches. Coarse paste will really give you a crispy and crunchy falafels after frying. It's one of the best falafel recipe you would have ever tasted. It's a traditional Middle Eastern recipe which you can enjoy as an appetizer or also you can make it as a wrap or as a sandwich. Falafel goes well with hummus, hence we'll be sharing the recipe too. It's grinded well now. As you can see, the mixture is ready now. So transfer it into a plate. If you feel the mixture is too wet, you can add around 2 tablespoons of gram flour or basin and then mix it well. Now let's move on in shaping the falafels. To get an even shape, I'm using a spoon. So taking around a spoonful of falafel mixture and then give any shape of your choice. Just roll it and it's ready. Showing once again, take a spoonful of mixture then give a shape and the falafels are ready for frying. Now repeat the same process with the remaining falafels and once all are shaped well, we are going to proceed with frying them. For that heat sufficient oil and keep the heat on medium high flame and then we are going to gently drop the falafels one by one. While adding the falafels do not overcrowd them otherwise it will break. So add little at a time here I am going to fry in two batches and then fry it on each side. When you can see it started changing the color it's time to flip it over. So flip over all the falafels and then fry again on the other side. Isn't this very simple and easy to make? And also it tastes truly delicious. Look at it, how beautiful and golden it looks. And it also turns very crispy. So we need to fry on all the sides until it turns golden brown. As you can see, it has turned golden brown now. So it's time to remove it. So strain it from the oil. And that's it, a super delicious and a super quick falafels are absolutely ready. Now repeat the same process with the remaining falafels, that's the second batch. And then we are going to proceed in making hummus. For making hummus, all we need is 1 cup of chickpeas that have soaked overnight and completely boiled with little salt. As you can see it's cooked well. And then we require half a cup of olive oil, half a cup of sesame seeds that's thill and then 1 lemon juice, salt as per taste and few garlic cloves which is around 5 to 6. And we are going to grind all of them into a fine puree. Remember. You do not need to add water. If required, you can add little more olive oil. Now grind them all and make it into a fine puree. 
This dip is a best combination for falafels. I would personally advise that you prepare this dip in advance and refrigerate it and then you can proceed in frying the falafels. As you can see, our dip that's hummus is absolutely ready. Now transfer this hummus into a bowl and then I'm gonna place some boiled chickpeas and then gonna add a good amount of olive oil. That's it. Our hummus is ready for falafel. Making hummus and falafel is very easy now. Let's do the plating. Falafels are best when it's eaten warm. It's very crispy on outside and soft from inside. And it's one of the best falafel recipe you would have ever tasted. And it tastes extremely delicious. When you break and see, you can see the vibrant green color from inside. Trust me, it's one of the best recipe which you need to try it. So please go ahead and try this recipe and impress your family and friends. Hope you like this video. If so, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and also like and share it. Soon we'll be coming up with another interesting recipe. Until then, take care of yourself. Happy cooking. Bye-bye.